What is going on guys? Welcome to another video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Jeremy and this is Jeremy's Wild World. Now, as you guys saw from today's title, today's video is going to be all about the Linotheli Megatheloides. Of course, as the title explains, I'm going to be rehousing in today's video. So pretty much another simple video, uh, getting this species um, into a new enclosure, pretty much N nice little upgrade for it and showing you the aftermath of what the enclosure looks like. So before I jump into today's video, I just want to quickly say that according to my YouTube statistics, a lot of you guys who watch my videos aren't subscribed. So if you enjoyed today's video and you want to see more, click that subscribe button as well as the notification bell down below so you guys don't miss out on future content. Now, without further ado, let's just jump straight into today's video. So guys, jumping straight into today's video, once again, starting on my bedroom floor. Now, you're probably wondering, Jeremy, you record a lot on your floor nowadays. You don't really record on your desk. And yes, that is the case. Just because the enclosure's on my desk, I don't want to keep moving them up and down, up and down, just so I can record a video. I don't want to stress them out for no reason. So I just prefer to get my tripod and record them on the floor. So, of course, today's video is focusing on the Linotheli Megatheloides. I'm going to be showing you the individual, first of all, as well as talking about a couple facts about them. And yes, yeah, so here she is, just right here. As you can see, Linotheli Megatheloides, common name of this spider is the curtain web spider. Now, you can tell why they're called a curtain web, just because of the amount of webbing and how thick the webbing is. But, of course, today's reason for me wanting to rehouse this individual is, one, I don't like the death of this enclosure. It doesn't give this spider the true potential to web up as much as it can. And two, it's definitely outgrown it. Like, yes, it could stay in here much longer, but I want it to web up to its full potential, make itself feel much more comfortable instead of just sitting out at the top. Uh, these spiders will make lots of tunnels and everything in between um, gaps and stuff like that. So yeah, so Linotheli Megatheloides, also known as the curtain web spider. An absolutely beautiful spider originating from South America. Now, I'm just gonna give you guys a quick zoom in of this individual just ah oh, i can never never not get tired of this coloration just absolutely beautiful like it just looks like it's shiny gold just the abdomen and carapace look absolutely beautiful and as they get older they do get a nice dark coloration while retaining this beautiful gold reflection so yeah a couple other facts about this uh species is that they're actually a mygalomorph now you're probably wondering, Jeremy, what is a myganomorph? Now, just to put it in simple terms, guys, I will may, may explain this more on a podcast later on, but a myganomorph is just a type of spider, um, just not related to true spiders such as jumpers, orb weavers, huntsmen, etc. They're actually more closely related to tarantulas. Um, just, this is just, uh, just to really dumb it down, basically, the family tree for true spiders are ranimorphs and uh, the family tree for my Gallimore split so basically it's just an older family of spiders and that's pretty much it so Linotheli Megatheloides they do get quite big and they can live up to five to eight years there is a lot of mixed information online because they are considered a my Gallimore. they are thought to live up to 25 years but on average i've seen on a few arachnoboards boards and stuff like that that people have had them for about five to ten years so i'm going to say that the average lifespan is five to eight so yeah, that is the um, individual I'm going to be rehousing today. Let's get her catched up and show you the enclosure I'm going to rehouse her in. All right, so here is the enclosure I'm going to be rehousing this beautiful Linotheli Megatheloides in. Now, before I go into talking about the aspects of this enclosure, I just wanted to try something a little bit different today. I'm going to cut into a clip that I recorded using the cinematic mode on my brand new phone. There's been an iPhone 13 Pro Max. I'm just going to see how you guys like it. I think it's pretty cool. Obviously, it could do with some work because I'm still trying to figure out how to use this camera efficiently and make the best possible videos for you guys. Um, just because it's much different to my whole phone. I had one lens on my own phone. Now I've got three. So <laughs> it's quite um, a new experience and I'm definitely going to have to get used to it and everything. And yes, yeah, so now for the chit chat, let's just quickly cut into that. Now, what do you guys think? I think that was pretty cool. Um, definitely, you need some work, of course. That's my first time using the cinematic mode for a YouTube video, and I'm definitely going to try and incorporate it much more in the future. And yes, yeah, so talking about this enclosure quickly, it's a bra plus cube. The I believe it's 1.3 liter. It has some ventilation holes drilled on both sides, as well as the lid, as you can see right here. Inside has some really nice damp topsoil with uh, moss either side for humidity little water dish even though it will probably um, web up the water dish I will try to like drill a hole so I can have access to give it water 
uh, leaf litter for aesthetics, even though you probably won't see it once this spider starts webbing up everything. And yeah, so there's no hide or anything. I just threw some sticks in. You're probably wondering, Jeremy, why don't you give the spider a hide? Um, it's simply because I want it to web up pretty much the majority of this tub. And by doing so, and making tunnels, and there's tunnels within the webbing, it's going to be basically its hide. So I need to give it some anchor points, obviously, to web properly. And that's why I collected outside some sticks, which has some really nice green textures growing on it and everything. And yeah, you can see just a little walking around, some springtails seeded in just to avoid mold outbreaks and everything. And yeah, so that's pretty much the enclosure. Um, so let's just quickly get this little one rehoused. I've already pre-catch catch cupped it <laughs> just because you can see they are a speedy little spider and I do not want this thing running around my bedroom. And yeah, whilst it's in the catch cup, let's just get a better look at it, shall we? You can see much better now the much gold carapace and from this distance you can see look it's already webbing up the bottom of the cup let alone once it goes in here and the exciting part of today's video guys i'm going to try to record a time lapse of it webbing up the enclosure and see how much it does in a few hours it's going to look really really cool hopefully and yeah so simply just going to put the cup down and let it wander out there we go and yeah so nice easy rehouse let's cut into the time lapse Oh, <laughs> sorry guys, you're probably wondering where the time lapse clip is. Well, I did attempt to record a time lapse and this is how it turned out. Yeah, that didn't turn out great, did it? <laughs> basically, that was an hour and a half time lapse. And she basically just wandered around the enclosure a little bit and then just sat in that corner. So I decided, you know what, she's probably just stressed out from the light and everything. So I'm just gonna leave her alone for a couple of days. And of course, a couple of days later, let's see how she webbed up the enclosure. All right, so here's the enclosure a couple of days later. As you can see, I went out of my way to make a label for this enclosure. Stuck it on really, really badly. You can see it's really off center. I'll probably fix that when I finish this video. Uh, but yeah, so let's get you guys a quick look because as you can see just a little bit briefly the enclosure has been webbed up really really nicely in just a couple of days And yeah, so just coming straight into the enclosure as you can see guys This is why I just use sticks in this enclosure I didn't give her a hide or anything because using the sticks she's made like little tunnels and everything and She will just go throughout these when she feels threatened or something if I spook her She'll dive into these tunnels you can see here like a great example like that is a really nice built tunnel and there's a couple entrance points, like that's a little entry point there and everything. And yeah, so the sticks did their part, made the anchor points for her to make beautiful webbing. And I can't wait for it to get much more thicker and everything. And yeah, what's really nice is that you can still see the bottom and everything. Still see the details of the sticks, like absolutely beautiful. Love this enclosure, it's really, really natural looking. And hopefully the springtails won't get too stuck in this webbing. Hopefully they'll just stick near the bottom. Kind of see them wandering around down there. And yeah, so water dish didn't get covered up too bad. I'm gonna like make a little circle so I have access to the water dish just so she has uh, some water at all times. And you can see her little butt right here with her little butt fingers that did all the job. And definitely lived up to the name curtain web spider, pretty much making a curtain web throughout this enclosure. So I'm gonna try and get a feeding clip of her guys. And I'm gonna end today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Really, really happy with how this enclosure turned out. From the outside, it looks really, really nice as well. And yeah, so. Let's get into a feeding clip. So that's the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the rehousing of my Linotheli Megathaloides. Really happy with how the video turned out. And I love the way it's webbed up its enclosure, the really obvious tunnels within the enclosure. And of course, as it gets older, the webbing is just gonna get much thicker and the enclosure will just look much more aesthetically pleasing as well as comfortable for the spider. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you would click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell down below so you guys don't miss out on future content. I'd also really appreciate it if you guys would follow me on Instagram, Jeremy's Wild World underscore as well as Jeremy's Wild World dot sales. I'm really active on Instagram, posting pictures and videos of the animals and inverts I keep while I don't upload on YouTube. So that's all for me today. Leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.